Area airports had a steady stream of passengers over the weekend as people are trying to avoid that midweek holiday rush ahead of Thanksgiving. KTVU's Tom Baker joins us now from Oakland International, where many say the scene a year ago was quite different and discouraging. Tom. Well, I'll tell you what, it's full speed ahead here. I want to show you something. Not five minutes ago, there were a couple hundred people in this room waiting for their bags. Their bags came off fast and they got out of here fast because these guys seem to have something really going right now. Having said that, the entire U.S. transportation system, land, sea, and air, is going to meet one of its biggest tests in decades this time. Before the traditional holiday travel season ends in mid-January, very close to half of all Americans will have traveled by planes, trains, boats, buses, and cars. Almost five million will take to the skies. Though international travel is slightly more expensive, domestic airline tickets are slightly cheaper than last year, down about 13 percent. And that's because domestic airlines have scheduled more flights, more planes, and crews. So far, 2023 has seen the lowest cancellation rate in the last five years at just 1.3 percent. It's much lower than last year. It's lower even than before the pandemic. Weather notwithstanding, there's a reason why the airlines are likely to do better. It has to do with fines, penalties, refunds, food and lodging rules that didn't exist just a year ago. Yeah, I do think they get what happened and they made changes. It even seemed like there was extra help on the plane, making sure everyone got what they needed. I think they have came back really good for especially this is a busy time, the holidays. One major spoiler, bad weather, something airline passengers know all too well. I don't think they can control the weather. <laughs> I think that's going to be their issue, and runways and snow. Heavy rain, snow and winds are expected in the northeast, the east, and especially the south with severe storms and possible tornadoes, all affecting flights and land travel the rest of the week. The other major spoiler, if American Airlines 26,000 flight attendants actually go on strike, or more likely, if they or employees of other airlines decide to have a bout of the no-fly flu. I saw the pilots have little um, badges on their suitcases that say, ready to strike. I was like, oh, I didn't know we were in that place right now. By comparison, Holocaust survivor Clara Grossman says delays or canceled flights is really very little to worry about. And I just hope and pray for peace in this world. Now, uh, there, so far, according to FlightAware, there have been 3,400 delays uh, and only 63 cancellations. Now, that is significant when you consider there are 25,000 flights a day from 503 different U.S. airports. So they're doing very, very well. And remembering now, this is still very early in the game. This is day one. Uh, we got a ways to go, but uh, that, and that weather is going to have an impact. But the truth of the matter is, it is way different this year than it was last year. They seem to be ready to go. Back to you. Yeah, that is good news. Ramping up for a busy holiday week. Tom, thank you.